Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year to all of you. I hope you guys all had a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I'm so excited for 2017. I just keep getting really good vibes about it, which I'm super duper excited about because I remember at the start of last year, I just felt like so blah and so unmotivated and I'm glad that I have some motivation this year to really change my life and set some goals and really achieve those goals. I seriously cannot believe that it is 2017 though. I feel like the older I get, the years just keep going by quicker and quicker. It's absolutely insane. So as you guys can tell by today's video, we are going to be doing my best of beauty for 2016. Um, in 2016, I never ever uploaded a single favorites video. So I thought I would just do a year end one and show you guys what I enjoyed in 2016. I feel like this video is going to be really, really long, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. The first products we're gonna start off with are primers. There are two that I have to mention for the year. The first one is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard lots about this from other beauty vloggers. I feel like it's quite popular, especially with Jaclyn Hill. This one retails for $46. It's infused with luminescent pearls, so it really helps give your skin that radiant, dewy, fresh look to it. Perfect for underneath um, your foundation, and it helps hold on, everything on a little bit longer as well. The second primer I have is the Kat Von D Lock It Hydrating Primer. I absolutely love this primer. This one retails for $38. It's super duper hydrating and it is water based, which is awesome. It's perfect for dry skin. I was having a lot of issues with texture around my nose and kind of on my chin, just kind of really dry areas. And as soon as I put this on, it primes, but it really, really does hydrate at the same time. I've had some hydrating primers where they say they're hydrating, but they don't really do anything. I feel like this one really does the job it's supposed to. Moving on to foundations, I feel like I tried a lot of foundations this year and I was really disappointed by a lot of them. So that kind of sucked, but I'll tell you about my two favorites. So the first one is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This one retails for $46. Dollars. I know I'm super late on this, um, tr the train for this foundation because it's super popular. Everyone on YouTube absolutely loves it. It says it is a 15 hour wear, which I would definitely agree with. It stays on so long. I would say this one is medium to full coverage and it does have more of a kind of satin to matte finish, but I feel like when I put my Becca primer underneath of it, that helps to give it the luminosity that I am looking for. What I also love about this one is that it does not cling to my dry pack patches, that is a huge issue with me for lots of foundations. The next foundation, apparently I threw out the bottle, but it is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. I do have a full review on my channel about this foundation, so I will link it down below. This one retails for $47. It's around a medium coverage, I would say, but it is infused with water as well, so really, really good for dry skin. Moving on to brows next. The first brow product that I wanna talk about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. Everyone and their mother uses this product. It's super duper popular. So this is kind of like a cream gel consistency. This one retails for $23. What I love about it is it is smudge proof and waterproof. I remember I wore it when I was in Orlando and it literally did not budge. And I'm pretty sure I wore it in the pool too and it was fine. So I know $23 is a little bit expensive, but I think I've gone through like maybe half of this and I think I've had it for six months. So, I mean, depending how much you use it, it can definitely last you up to a year or longer. What I also love about this is that you can use it to make a really natural brow and you can also use it to make a really defined bold brow. So very versatile product. The next brow product I have is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This one retails for $30. What I like about it is that it has a slim angled tip, which makes it really easy to define the brows and make um, really natural hair-like strokes. It also does have more of a powdery finish to it, which normally I wouldn't be a fan of, but I kind of like the way this one looks. It also stays on all day. I don't really have issues with it smudging or wearing off or anything like that. And yeah, I think that's it about this product. It's awesome. So the last brow product that I have is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This one, I seriously, I think I've had this for about six months. So again, this product will last you a long time. All of the writing is like off on it. It's worn off. This one retails for $29. This is really awesome. If you want something that's gonna keep your brows in place all day long, this is the product you need. It's awesome for really placing the hairs where you want them to go so you can really shape your brow and make it look the way that you want. 
Moving on to eye primers, I have one that I'm going to mention. I'm sure you guys all know what it is if you watch my channel regularly. It is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. What I love about this, it is long wearing and creamy, high pigmentation, which is awesome because it colors discoloration at the same time that it primes. This one retails for $26. It lasts a really long time. Um, I would open mine, it's kind of like gross right now. Um, but like, I think I got this about six months ago as well, and I still have quite a bit of product left to go before I have to throw it out. So awesome product. I've tried other primers and this is just the one that works for me. Moving on to eyeshadows, I'm going to mention a palette and then a couple individual shadows that I love this year. The first one that I loved is the Modern Renaissance palette. I feel like everyone has mentioned this in their favorites video so far, but it's seriously so gorgeous. Like when you open this palette, it just looks so pleasing. All the colors go beautifully together. You can literally make so many different combinations. It's very versatile. This one retails for $55. I really, really love Anastasia's eyeshadow formula. I think they're super pigmented. They're easy to blend. They stay on all day. Um, so that is why I love this palette. I think it's gorgeous, beautiful. I will definitely be using this in 2017 still. Next, I have an individual shadow. This is the Urban Decay Naked Shadow. As you can see, it's very well loved. This one retails for $22. This is like the perfect light nude brown shade and it's a matte. So this one I love using in the crease as my transition shade, or if I just wanna add a little bit of definition on like a no makeup day, I find that this one is perfect. It's nice and pigmented, easy to blend out, perfect transition shade. The next shadow I have is by ABH again. This is in the color Fawn. I believe these ones retail for $16. Again, I love Anastasia's um, eyeshadow formula, super pigmented, super blendable, creamy, all that good stuff. This one is like a medium toned, warm brownish color. Um, perfect for adding a little bit more definition in the crease and on the outer corner of the eye. Next, I have Nylon by MAC. This is a pale gold, icy, shimmery shade. This one retails for $19. I absolutely love this shade for my brow bone or the inner corner of my eye. It's super, super pigmented and you literally need the tiniest bit, but it literally looks gorgeous as a brow bone highlight and a inner corner highlight. Next, I have two pigments by MAC. The first one is Naked Pigment. This one retails for $26. I love the MAC pigments because even though they're a little bit on the pricey side, they last you the longest time. Like this one, I think I bought about two years ago and I actually thought I spilled like half of it and then I closed it and it's literally full all over again. I don't even understand how that happens. So the first one is Naked. This is kind of like a fleshy beige color with a pearl finish to it. The second one I have is Vanilla. I just have this in a sample jar. And again, I got this like two years ago and I have used it quite a bit and I still have a lot of product left. This one is more of like a soft ivory white with like I feel like it has like reflex of gold and pink in it it's really really pretty so next we're going to talk about some eyeliners the first one I'm going to mention is a gel liner and it is the Maybelline eye studio gel liner this one retails for ten dollars so super inexpensive what I love about this is that it is really easy to use um, it's not super drying or anything like that it's smudge proof it is quite black I just wish it was a little bit blacker but at the same time it's blacker than some higher end gel liners that I've used if that makes sense so definitely my favorite gel liner for the year and then the other eyeliners I loved are the Kat Von D tattoo liner and the ink liner both of these are awesome the only thing I find is the ink liner is a little bit darker like it's more black than the tattoo liner but I find that the tattoo liner I like the brush a little bit better it's a little bit more easier to use these are awesome they stay on all day I never have problems with them smudging or moving or anything like that and these ones retail for $25 I have two mascaras that I want to shout out this year and of course if you watch my videos you already know what they are. The first one is the MAC in Extreme Dimension Mascara. Uh, this one retails for $28. It's really good at giving volume and length at the same time. A big thing that like a big problem that I have with mascaras is that they always smudge on me and they leave like 
flakes underneath my eyes or on top and then I look like a raccoon and it's just not cute so love the brush for this one it's more of that plastic style brush um, but it's not too big and it's not too small so really love this mascara for 2016 and then the other one is also by Mac this is the extended play lash this one retails for $21 this one is waterproof sweat proof it doesn't smudge either this one is perfect if you want more length than volume and I really like this one for my lower lashes it has a really tiny brush so you can really get in there and define every lash on your lower lash line. So I feel like 2016 was the year of discovering false lashes for me. Before that I had worn lashes before but I just didn't know really how to put them on and I just felt they looked really weird on me so this year I committed to really making them work for me and learning how to apply them which now I love them and I feel like I can't go without them so I tried multiple different brands this year um, some higher end some lower end and the ones that I ended up liking the most were from Sephora collection so these ones are $13 so for me I find that that's more on the inexpensive side you see some lashes out there for like $40 which is absolutely insane uh, and usually I buy them and they're not even that comfy so what I love about the Sephora ones is they are really comfortable to wear you can't even feel them on your eyes they're very lightweight the first ones that I really loved were the flirt which is the ones right here in the box they're super dramatic. I When people at Sephora, when I worked there, they were like, you need to try these. I was like, no, they're gonna like go up to my eyebrows and they're gonna look so disgusting and you're gonna be able to tell that they're fake. I apply these and oh my God, they're so, so gorgeous. From the inner and outer corner, they're a little bit shorter and then in the middle, they're really long, but they just really open up the eye and give you that good amount of dramatic volume. The other pair that I'm wearing right now, um, these are the Audacious Lashes. So again, they're $13. These ones, they crisscross, which gives you a beautiful amount of volume and fullness. So those are my two favorite lashes for the year. For concealer, there are two that I wanna mention this year. The first one is the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. This one retails for $18. I was really, really impressed when I tried this. Um, I've seen some mixed reviews about it some were really negative and some were really positive but I swatched it on my hand and I'm like this looks gorgeous and I absolutely love this concealer it's lightweight and blends out really really easily I also find that it is very like high it's kind of hydrating I would say um whenever I put it like around my nose or under my eyes I don't have problems with it sitting into fine lines or sitting on top of my dry skin or anything like that which is really really important to me um, I find this is a medium you can make it definitely full coverage if you want to the next concealer I have is the Too Faced Born This Way this one retails for $32 this one is very very lightweight and what I love about it is it is infused with coconut water so for one, it's going to be very hydrating. Two, it smells like pina coladas. So <laughs> absolutely amazing. Who doesn't want something that smells like pina coladas? I find that it is a more light to medium coverage. I think at Sephora it says it's medium to full coverage. And I mean, if you cake on half the bottle, I feel like you could get full coverage. But for me, I found it was more of a light to medium coverage. So very hydrating, really good for dry skin again. We're going to move on to powders next. The first one that I have is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Under Eye Powder powder this one retails for $30 I absolutely love this for under the eyes it's a really fine milled powder but it's transparent but it has light reflecting pigments in it so it really brightens up the under eyes and it gives you that really soft radiant finish so your under eyes always look super flawless when you apply this I have another Laura Mercier powder this is the loose translucent setting powder this one retails for set $47 this one is a matte finish um, um, it gives a very, it has a very silky, silky texture to it. I prefer this one for baking. I don't like to set my whole face with it because I find it's a little bit too matte, but I do like it for baking because I don't find that it sits on any of my dry skin or it doesn't sit really into any fine lines either. Next, I have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I don't know how much this retails for because I forgot to look it up, but I'll list it down below. Um, this one is more of a sheer to medium coverage. It, I do find that it has more of like a satin kind of matte finish, but it looks very much like skin. It's not like super matte where you look almost like cakey, which I mean, if you love that look, that's totally cool, but I like my skin to more look like skin. So that is what I love about this one. Um, and it's sheer to medium. I can't remember if I said that, but I don't like a whole lot of coverage to um, set my face with, so this is perfect. 
For bronzers, I only have one that I want to talk about. This is the NARS Laguna bronzer. As you can see, it's very much loved. This one retails for $52. What I love about this, it is super easy to blend out and it is not orange. I feel like so many bronzers are like way too orange and I have quite fair skin that it's hard for me to find a bronzer that actually looks natural on me. So just bronze. Um, it's a matte finish, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, but I love this. For blushes, I have a few that I want to mention. The first one is the Benefit Coralista blush. This one retails for $36. This is kind of like a warm pink coral blush. Anything like corally is my favorite kind of blush. I feel like it really helps make my eyes pop. Um, this is perfect for every day. I love it when I have like a no makeup day or I'm trying to go for less makeup. It just gives you that really nice radiant look with just a flush of color to the skin. The next blush we have is Peaches by MAC. This is exactly what it said. It says it is. It is a peach blush. This one retails for $27. What I love about this one is it is a sheer tone, so it goes on quite light, but you can really build it up to get the intensity that you want. And again, anything peachy coral I love for my skin. I feel like it matches it really well and it helps bring out my eye color too. I have another MAC blush. This is Spring Sheen. Again, $27. This one is a like peachy pink with some gold pearl to it. And it has more of a shimmery finish, kind of similar to Benefit Coralista. This again is a sheer tone, so it goes on light and you can build it up until you get the intensity that you want. Now the next blush I have, I don't know if you can get this individually or if it was exclusive to this palette, but this was in the Becca and Jaclyn Hill face palette. And it is the color amaretto right here so the face palette I can't remember what it retailed for I think it was between 50 and 60 dollars but this is just like a nice matte kind of it's described as like a toasted almond color but all of these blushes are like super duper pigmented like you literally need the tiny tiniest tiniest bit with it and they blend flawlessly so really really love this color if I'm doing like a more bold eye and I don't want to take anything away from it it's perfect for that moving on to highlighters I think highlighters were like my favorite product of 2016 I'm sure it was like everyone's pro favorite product of 2016 but I absolutely love them I mean I could mention so many but I just kind of brought it down to four that I really really loved. The first one is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, the liquid version, and this is in Moonstone. This one retails for $50, so it is a little bit more pricey. I think I got this about a year and a half to two years ago maybe, and it's only like halfway gone, but this one is more of a pale gold color. I love putting this underneath or on top of my foundation just to give my skin even more glow than it already has. Next, I have two individual Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminators. These ones retail for $28. So the first one I have is So Hollywood. This is a pure, like true gold color. What I love about these highlighters is they give you that really like wet highlighted effect. They're not super shimmery. They're not glittery. They just give you that nice wet highlight. They're super pigmented. They blend really, really easily. The other one that I loved was Starlight. This is just more of a luminescent white color. Color. So this one I love for when I'm more pale, but what I do love about So Hollywood is that it still is good for people with pale skin. Sometimes you get a gold highlighter and it's like boom, just gold sitting there. So love those ones. And my last two favorite highlighters come from the Sun Dip Glow Kit, also by ABH. This one retails for $40. So I'm sure once I open it, you'll know which two they are that I love. It is Summer and Moonstone. So Summer is just like a nice kind of, what did I put down? A white gold color. And this one is described more of a quartz, but to me, that's just more of like a pinky color, if you ask me, if you don't want like super technical terms. But yeah, these are super pigmented, super blendable. Um, I think I'm wearing Moonstone today. I don't find they're as wet and intense as like the single illuminators are, but they're still really, really gorgeous. Moving on to lip pencils, I only have two that I want to mention. The first one is World by MAC. I'm sure all of you guys know about this. Kylie Jenner made it super duper popular. This one retails for $21. It's a kind of like dusty mauve rose color, which is perfect because I feel like it's just a little bit darker than my lip color. So really good for defining my lips and outlining them. And I find that these ones, they go on really smoothly and they blend really easily too. The next one is also by MAC. It is stripped down. This is just more of a brown 
brownie beige color. Again, this retails for $21. I really like this one. If there is a pink color that I'm wearing that's just way too pink and I wanna to tone it down, or if I have a nude that's just way too light and kind of is blending into my skin tone, I like to use this to just add, re-add definition to my lips and add some color to that lip color. So moving on to lipsticks, I literally could have named like 80 different lipsticks that I loved. The majority of my favorite lipsticks were liquid lipsticks this year. I absolutely love the formula of liquid lipsticks. They stay on so good. I just love them. They last forever. So first one I have, this is the one I'm actually wearing today with Whirl Lip Liner, but it is Veronica by ABH. These ones retail for $26. This one is like a taupey mauve color. It kind of gives that like 90s grunge vibe. So I love that. What I love about Anastasia's is I don't find that they are stu super duper drying. They go on really easily. They're not patchy. They don't flake off or anything like that. So Love Veronica. This is one of my favorite colors and it took me forever to get my hands on it. The next one is also by ABH. This is American Doll. This one is like that classic blue red color. Every time I wear this, I get so, so, so many compliments about it. This is literally my favorite red to wear. Next, I have MAC Viva Glam 2. This one retails for $21. I feel like this is my go-to natural lip. This one's a satin. It is a pinky beige with just a hint of shimmer to it, but I feel like this one matches my lip color like almost to a T. So this is perfect when I'm doing like a really natural look or I just want to enhance my natural Lip color a little bit more. I feel super bougie mentioning this, but this is a YSL lipstick. This is in Beige Tribute. This one retails for $42. I know it's so expensive. This one is described as a dark nude and I would disagree with that. I would say it's like a light pinky kind of dusty nude. Um, it definitely is more of a kind of like lighter consistency and it has more of like a glossy, I wouldn't say super glossy. It's like a satin just a little bit more than a satin. It's not like matte, but it's not super glossy, but I wouldn't say it's a satin, but these are really nice. They're really lightweight and really comfortable to wear on the lips. The only thing I don't like it, it's heavily like rose scented and I love roses, but I don't really like rose scented things. So that is literally the only thing I would change about this, but this one is absolutely gorgeous. So the last category we have is lip gloss. The first one I'm gonna mention is ABH Butterscotch Lip Gloss. This one retails for $21. This is kind of like a neutral peachy beige color. So I love pairing this with any really nude lipstick. What I love about these is they're super pigmented. They're super duper shiny and they have a really good smell to them. Also what I love about them is they are not sticky. I used to hate glosses because I feel like every time I tried one, it was so sticky and I hated the feeling of it. And I would literally just like, wipe it off in like five seconds. So love this one, non-sticky, stays on really, really, really well as well. How many times can I say well in a sentence? And the last one I have is MAC Luster Glass in Peach Nectar. This one retails for $19. Now I believe they discontinued this particular one. It's kind of like a pearly peachy color with little flecks of gold in it. Really, really pretty. Looks really natural. Again, these ones are super shiny. Not as high pigmented as the ABH one um, and they're not sticky as well. So again, that is why I love it. So that is it for my best of beauty 2016 video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I did want to add some new content to my channel this year and I felt like this was a perfect start because it's different than what I've really ever done on my channel. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me what your favorite beauty products were for 2016 down below in the comments. I would love to see if there's any products that I would like to try or that I'm interested in for 2017. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. We are so close to 10K and at 10K, I will be doing a little giveaway. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out. If you guys have any comments or suggestions on what you wanna see on my channel this year, just leave them down below. I always check out my comments and read them. And yeah, I think that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.